of abuse and neglect in Georgia's foster care system. Tonight, all new at 6 o'clock, how Congress is hoping to change things. Our I-team has reported on ongoing issues in Georgia's foster care system, from caseworkers not responding to child abuse cases in a timely manner, to placement issues for victims of human trafficking. Now questions surround $28 million spent to house children in just the past year, but instead of finding them homes, that money went toward hotel stays for some for months at a time. Nick Veland sat down with Senator John Ossoff, who is spearheading this investigation at the congressional level. Clarity is what John Ossoff wants. He's teamed up with a Republican from Tennessee to get answers to a problem that stretches beyond the borders of Georgia. Asking questions so that we can understand uh, whether potential misconduct or malpractice or mismanagement in the state government has left children at risk of harm. He has questions about housing kids in hotels in the foster system, issues with keeping DFAX employees, and their policies considering 13-year-olds old enough to protect themselves. This practice of keeping vulnerable children in hotels and offices for months on end is shocking and unacceptable, and the fact that it may have been going on for years is shocking and unacceptable. It's not only John Ossoff who wants this change. Dr. John DeGramo with the Foster Care Institute is also fighting for change. He says the system failed his family before they were about to adopt one of their foster kids. The system failed her. Georgia's foster care system failed her, and she's a part of my family. So I can't let it happen again to any other kid. He's fostered more than 60 kids as well as adopted three. He testified at the Georgia State Capitol two weeks ago on these topics, and he supports what Ossoff is looking to do and wants things to get better moving forward. Step one is getting the facts. That's why I launched this inquiry. And Senator Ossoff put a deadline for their questions to be answered no later than March the 10th. We'll keep an eye on it for you.